Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you a few features of IOCell property management system. So here we have two views, which is primarily used by the reception of front desk. The third option is for the reservations. So this is where hotels are going to opt when they want to create reservations. We have three, four options here. We have an option of creating reservation for any free individual traveler or FIT. We can create complimentary room bookings from this option. We can put rooms in out of order from here. And finally, we can make group reservations from this option. And here we have in one screen, we have all the reservations, the booking IDs, the customer name, booked on dates, check-in, check-out, the source of the booking and the amount. So here is where you can actually go and edit any reservation if in case you have any modifications to be made uh, before the guest arrives at the hotel. Uh, in case there is any cancellation of any reservation, then so the hotel has to just go to reservation option and click on the option where of cancel reservation. The, how to create a reservation is a very simple process. We just click on create reservations. We select the check-in date from this calendar. We select a checkout date. Uh, the number of nights will automatically come in the system. We can select which room category we want to make a reservation. If there are multiple rate plans, such as room only or room with breakfast, AP rate plan or modified uh, American plan, you can select from the drop down here. We can actually put the number of uh, guests in the room from this section, how many rooms you're reserving and which is the source of the booking, which could be a travel agent's name or the booker's name. The, the segments can be created or customized as per your requirement. However, we have the standard business segments already mentioned here, which is a walk-in, uh, a corporate booking, a booking which is from an OTA, which will automatically come if there is an OTA booking, travel agent booking, and the sales team. We can put the, uh, the instruction for billing, so it could be either to a company or to a guest. We can mention the pay more pay mode of payments, which are there. We can also add in case there are any additions required. The room rate will automatically come from our channel manager and revenue management system. However, hotels can always override the rate as per what they have offered to the guest. We can make the tax uh, inclusive. So the rate, uh, you see that once I clicked on tax inclusive, the tax becomes zero or we can make it a tax exclusive rate. Uh, we feed in the guest name. Now, if, it, if there is a guest who is a repeat customer, we can actually search either by the email address or by phone number. And all the details, including the photo ID of the guest will automatically populate in this screen of reservations. Or if it's a, you know, it's a first time a guest, then we need to feed in the guest name, email ID, phone number, date of birth, gender, address, or whichever. These are not mandatory fields. However, whatever details the hotel can feed in and then press submit and the reservation gets created. The second option that we have over here is complimentary rooms. So if a guest is coming on the hotel, which is and is staying on complimentary basis, hotel can make a reservations by clicking on complimentary. Here, as you see, all the details are the same. And these are the three fields or four fields which are grayed out. So this is basically the billing instruction field. And as you see here, we have already grayed out these fields. So this is primarily for a complimentary room reservations. The third option here is the out of order rooms. So if there is any room which is having any maintenance issues and you want to put them as out of order so that there is no check-in shown in that particular room, we can click on this option and we can select whatever period we want to put that room in out of order. And we just click and select the room number which we are putting as out of order. We can also put the reason why we want to put that room in out of order in the special request, uh, request field and submit. The moment we do this, 
this particular room number will be create will be in gray color in the stay view or rooms view and therefore the front desk or receptionist will not be uh, you know it will just act as a reminder that this is an out of order room and they will not show a check in in that room the fourth option that we see here under reservations is for groups so if you do receive group reservations we just select on groups we select the check in date we select the checkout date of the group and we click on create. Uh, here we can put the name of the group. Check-in, check-out is already fed in the first screen. We can put the number of rooms we want to uh, reserve in each and every category. We can also put the number of guests who are going to stay in each and every category. The rate plans can be selected. Again, the room rates can be overridden here, but these are the rates which actually automatically comes in in case the hotel is using our channel manager and revenue management system. We can select the mode of payment here. We can put the name of the guest or company to whom the billing is going to be booked by the guest's name, email, phone number, and any special request. Once all these details are fed in and submitted, a group reservations gets created. So this is how, how easy it is to make any reservations in our system and to make a complimentary booking room out of order or a group reservations. And this here is where any hotel needs to come in order to edit any reservation or to cancel a reservation. The next feature is of guest history. So in IUCEL property management system, we store all the guest history and which includes the photo ID, the phone number, the email address, as well as how much the guest has spent in their past days. So it's a little heavy file. As you see here, we have all the photo IDs, we have the names of the guests, the phone number, email ID, and also how much they have spent in their previous stays. We can also go and click on view to see when were their previous stays and also how much they have spent in each of their stays. We also have an option to edit. So in case there has been a change in the email address or phone number of the guest, we can come here and we can you know, edit the guest details for future purpose. In case a hotel needs to use these guest history details for marketing purpose, they can always download this file and use, use for that. We also have an option to remove any duplicates in case uh, a, you know, a receptionist has gone ahead and created a new profile for an existing uh, guest. And we can also upload uh, guest history if in case you know the, we, we are onboarding a new property and they want to have all their old client details to be fed into ISL property management system, we have an option to upload. Of course, there's a search button in case somebody wants to search for any guest that can be done from here. So that's that's how we can use the guest history and the details. The third feature I would like to show you is the companies. So this is primarily for hotels who are offering corporate rates to any companies and also giving them credit on their bill. So if there is a corporate rate, and we want to feed that in, we can go to an add company option. We select add company, we feed in the, the company name, the contact person, email ID, address, and finally the rates for each of the categories which we have provided to this particular company and submit. Now what happens is when the, the receptionist or the reservation staff is making a reservation and they select IBM as the company name, automatically the corporate rates will flow into that reservation. In this screen, you can see different companies. You can see the GST details, the amount that has been billed to each of these companies, and also the outstanding from each of these companies. We also have an option of city ledger. So this is exactly where hotels can actually uh, monitor what is the outstanding from multiple companies. And also as they receive payments from these companies, we can actually feed in the details here so that the outstanding keeps getting updated. So it's a little heavy file, so it takes a couple of seconds to load. So here, as you can see, FinCare Bank, you have the GST details, you have the, the amount which is outstanding. When you click on the drop down, we actually 
see the names of the guests who have actually stayed from this company, the check-in, check-out details. You can also click on their invoice number to see their individual invoices. And finally, what is the amount which is pending from that company? And as we receive payment, the hotels can actually put in a reference ID and they can upload any file if they wish to and mark that particular payment as paid. The moment that happens, the outstanding will automatically keep getting updated. So here is uh, just a little overview of uh, three of the IOCL property management system features, which was reservations, guest details, and guest history, and finally companies. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.